What is up everybody, Starscream here, and today we're going to be doing a Dungeon Boss Hero tier list. Basically, I'm going to be taking all the current 92 heroes and ranking them from S through F, uh, based on my personal opinions, and I mean, I think I'll fit most of, most of the player base's uh, opinions, but a couple things to keep in mind is that I'm going to be basing it off of like my personal experience, uh, but also mostly off of like PvP. Um, towards end game, which is what I'll mostly be focusing on, uh, a lot of the heroes pretty much can do most of the PvE content like solo once they're level 80 and once you have like any semblance of runes on them. So for the most part, we're going to be focusing on uh, PvP, but I will point out when a certain hero, like if a certain hero is like C rank, but I think that they might be good, they might be better than C for um, like PvE or for like uh, guild events or uh, boss invasions or something like that. I'll make mention of that, uh, but more so this is just to kind of like give you an idea, uh, if, especially if you're either a lower level or still kind of building up your roster, uh, who to mainly focus on and who you can more so forget uh, just in, in all around. Uh, it does, I, I set up this uh, thing on tiermaker.com, uh, which allows me to import all my own images and set up, I mean, I could have been fancy with stuff, but I, I felt like S, A, B, C, D. I mean, I, I feel like we all kind of understand that. Um, that S is just going to be uber, like the best of the best. Um, a rank is going to be very usable, um, very good. Uh, a lot of times we'll work in tandem with S ranks, uh, but even like without an S rank could definitely, a team of, a team of four A's could definitely like be very good, um, but my, maybe not necessarily like super super in every single team you see uh b rank is going to be definitely usable but a little bit more niche um good good heroes that definitely have their place on maybe on very specific teams but not many on many other teams uh c rank is going to be kind of like not horrible but definitely like not being used like all that much uh very very seldomly will be used in any type of like um uh, serious fashion uh, D is just going to be pretty pretty bad heroes, um, basically just co to collect dust. Um, probably usable maybe in like lower levels, lower level PvP, level 40, 50 PvP, but definitely not up in the 80s. And then F is going to be like you could literally just throw this hero away. You could pretend it doesn't exist. Um, like absolute trash, trash tier heroes. It did set it up um, alphabetically based on what all the icons have been named. So most of them are correctly named. So it's gonna be obviously Abigail, Admiral Creel, so on and so forth. Um, so I'm, that's just the order I'm gonna go in just to make it easy. But uh, but yeah, so like I said, keep in mind, you know, uh, it's very, this list is gonna be based on the current meta. So the current meta can change at any time. If a new hero gets released, that might affect the rest of the heroes or when they do updates to heroes, that could affect it as well. So without further ado, let's just kind of get into this. Uh, if a hero needs a lot of explanation, I'll give it. If not, I'll just, just take my word on it. Um, so first first up is Abigail. Abigail uh, is, not, is basically probably used in almost no teams right now. Um, there's really not a whole lot of point to star her up, unless I would say, unless you're in like sub level 60 uh, PVP, you could put her on a barbarian team that might still be viable at lower levels. Um, she is very easy to star up, so if you have her with with Drac, I guess that's fine. But in order for he, her to be, even be somewhat viable or usable, you do have to have her with uh, with Drac, uh, this green guy here. So realistically, and he's a legendary. So realistically, if you if you're at lower levels, you probably don't even have him start up anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and put her in D rank just because I don't want you working on her if there's anybody else that you could be working on. Admiral Creel is absolute F rank. Don't even bother right now, unless something very serious happens to his to his uh, character setup. There's not really any reason to even uh, acknowledge his existence. Agnon is an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal hero. Um, Agnon is a hero that has been around for a while now and has consistently survived every meta uh, there's just not a whole lot bad that I can say about Agnon. I could say that he, I don't know, he, he can't necessarily, like, carry a meta. Like, he he's, very rarely has he been the meta, 
but he's always been included in meta. So like he's still usable right now. Um, he's extremely viable in things like boss invasions and uh, other PvP elements. Um, there are a lot of strategies that can go with him. His uh, second and third special are very, very good. His lightning causes fear. His um, his beatdown uh, lowers defense. I'm going to put him... It would be between A and B rank. I'm going to put him in A just because of the fact that he's consistently stood the test of time as far as metas go. Um, and just is an overall very, very good hero. Uh, Alex is... Uh, Alexandros is pretty bad. Uh, he... He had maybe like a three-day time to shine um, a year and a half ago and then never really recovered from that. Um, he's a construct, but doesn't really bring much to the table. Gives some... Uh, uh, just not, just There's just not really a whole lot to say about him. Not a great hero. I'm going to put him over, over in D just because I've seen people do some finagle stuff with him, but he's, he's not quite F. I can imagine that he might be usable in lower levels, but... It was hard to it, it's hard to even put him in D. He's probably between D and F. If I had an E rank, he probably would be in there. Um, Archon, Archon is a phenomenal hero. Super, super good. Very usable. Um, I wouldn't put him in S rank, uh, but I would definitely put him up in A rank. He does need to be fully ascended to be really uh, usable. Uh, but again, just keep in mind, I, I'm just assuming that most of them are going to be fully ascended. I'm focusing more so on end game, uh, end game content and end game PvP. Uh, so in that sense, he is an A, um, an, in my opinion, an A rank hero. Uh, Arya, Arya's had a very interesting history. She started out extremely good, um, like when she first came out was super, super good, but very quickly kind of like fell into that kind of like unused zone uh, and stood there for a very long time. I think the turning point for Arya was definitely when she got her epic. Uh, her epic does four times damage. Uh, on a on a counter which does ridiculous amounts of damage and her counters she gets the chance of hitting twice so you're hitting two times four damage counters which makes her extremely powerful she does not miss um she's just an overall extremely ex currently in the current meta i would put her at s uh some people might want to fight me over that but i would definitely put her at s rank currently i think she's extremely extremely good and I would recommend anybody to get her startup and get her epic. I would I would focus her epic over most of the other heroes' epics. She's super, super good. Uh, Augustus, you can pretty much pretend Augustus doesn't exist right now. He doesn't bring a lot to the table. Um, even in even in PvE boss invasions and stuff, he's he's pretty pretty whack. Um, he's about on par with Alexandros. So Alexandros honestly could probably be an F tier. Um, one thing that Augustus has over Alexandros is that he has some healing factor, um, which I guess might be usable in lower levels. Um, and actually, I'm going to change my mind on Alexandros. I'm going to put him over an F. Balog is very much like Abigail, where it doesn't bring much to the table. Um, definitely in the D rank. He, he's a barbarian, has to be used in tandem with, with Drac. The, the difference between him, though, is that he could be without... Um, without what's-his-face, uh, this Jamoke down here. Um, he could be usable without him, but he, I guess if you had him on Shade, he does silence, and that that, that can be useful, uh, even without his Barbarian leader, uh, but he definitely is a lot better when when you have the, the Legendary. I, f I feel like, for whatever reason, I'm saying his name wrong. I know it's Drax, but whatever. Anyways, um, next is Bobble. Bobble's not really all that usable, not like horrible but not really that great um i would say probably pretty usable in pve as far as like boss mode and stuff like that uh but it was super super good originally but not really so much anymore i'm gonna put our uh, bobble in c at the moment um just because you, you could in theory use it with uh, furnace who is currently very very good so i'll give her that right now uh bd uh went from being super super good to super super trash to now is like okay Again, no, you're not. You're not going to see her at all in PvP really right now. So for that reason, I'm going to put her in D rank at the moment. Not a horrible hero, just very, very underused, um, or not necessarily underused, but not used a lot, but rightfully so. Just not really that great of a hero right now. Bovis, you can pretty much pretend does not exist right now. Um, used to be very good. Had his time to shine, but that that time has passed. Braum is pretty much not usable at the moment. 
Um, again, had a revamp, was decent for like a few days, and then people realized that he's really just still not all that great. So people quickly ditched him off to the side. Um, Cobress is pretty bad. Uh, there's not really a whole lot to say about her. Cobress is pretty bad, um, but not as bad as these DNF heroes. If you have her on a team with other um, with other reptiles, which reptiles are are kind of decent, but really not that decent. I'm gonna put her in D, um, but some of her compatriots might not be in there. Uh, Craw is very good. Um, I'm gonna put him probably. I'm gonna put him. I don't know. He's he's pretty good. I, I'd say it would be a debate between A and B. He was super super good for a little bit because he gave foresight and that blocked versus Jin. But again, we're focusing on the current meta and currently he's really just not used that much because um, I think Jin is being used a little bit less than he used to be. Even though I do think Jin is a very very high tier hero, you don't have to bring Craw as much anymore. Now there's uh, other heroes that are kind of uh, like Darius that are currently kind of taking uh, the place of Craw by giving other types of uh, invulnerability. So I'm going to put Craw probably in the in B rank right now because aside from uh, providing foresight, Craw doesn't really do hardly anything. That's pretty much the only thing he has going for him is that. Also very typically a very good hero in boss invasions. Um, uh, Bramble is probably the worst legendary hero that's out right now. It's honestly kind of embarrassing how bad he is and the fact that he's legendary. Uh, he needs a serious, serious, serious uh, work. Uh, <laughs> how would you say? Um, uh, makeover. Sorry, or rework. That's what I was looking. At. I was looking. I was thinking of makeover and rework in, in the same word. Sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, so. He's definitely, uh, if anybody from Dungeon Boss watches any of these videos, please, please help this guy. Remake him, please. I'm begging you. Right now, he is an F rank by far. Darius is solid. Darius is pretty cool because Darius um, is currently making up one of the hardest defenses to beat. Uh, not the hardest, in my opinion, but definitely one of the top defenses. Uh, basically, she gives invulnerability to her other um, assassin pals i believe is what that is what that is um i might be remembering that wrong there's a lot of heroes here but uh but basically she makes she's if you pair her with rayla she makes her very very hard to take on um so i can definitely recommend using her uh, but in my opinion not i mean she's she's easy to start up right now and uh is not a legendary so you can like get her tokens halfway easily but um definitely not like I don't know. I'm going to put her in B rank right now. Dagrin had his time to shine. No more. Um, I'm going to put him in D rank because even if you, even if you're using um, Valken, you're typically, nobody's going to be using Dagrin. Dagrin's not terrible. Um, at the end of the turn, he does uh, clear, uh, clear any type of, um, or it clears one debuff. Um, but right now, just not that great. Back in the Dwarven meta, he was pretty decent. Not so much anymore. Deadeye is very good. A lot of people use Deadeye. He's honor bound, has a lot of synergies. Um, if you ruin him up defense, I, I typically will ruin him up defensively. Some people uh, do it differently, but he causes a lot of follow up attacks when you have him with Jin. Uh, just overall, a very good hero. He works very well in uh, boss invasions, a lot of utility. I'm going to put him in the B rank because you don't see him very much. Uh, I, I mean, he's probably in the top, maybe the top 30% of heroes. Um, but probably not in the top like 10 percent so i'm going to put him in b rank because he's very good has good synergies but is not carrying any teams on his own dagon uh they did him dirty he used to be the end game hero and now he's just uh fucking he's gonna he's gonna sit his ass over in f not usable at all again dungeon boss please fix this guy give him some show him some love man he's he was the end game hero and he does literally nothing you can there's a lot of ways to make this guy good. Uh, you can make him, you can make him tankier. You can make shock damage do more damage like it used to. Um, just do something with him. Give him some purpose. Otherwise, he's just going to keep collecting dust. Uh, Drag, let's get him out of the way because I can't remember if I'm saying his name right. Uh, Drag is decent. Oops. Drag is decent, but um, 
had his time to shine, and that t that time is gone. Basically, everybody has shield piercing runes. Uh, Jin, if he's on your team, can just go straight through their invulnerability. So realistically, not a whole lot of reason to have him. I'm gonna put him uh, just because he's not horrible. I don't know. It's hard for me to give him C, honestly. I'm gonna put him still in D because he's just not still not very good. Echo's decent if you have his epic. Um, his epic attack lowers uh, lowers energy, so he's usable versus some of the other really, really high rank uh, heroes such as Lily. Um, not a lot of people are using him, uh, but he could be used. He does have a place where I feel he could be used more and he's a little bit underutilized. I'm gonna put him in C rank. Um, definitely not as bad as these D heroes, but definitely can't justify putting him in B. Ella's trash. Forget she even exists. Um, there's not. You can't. There's. There's. I can't give any justification for uh, putting her any higher than F. So Ember's really cool. Uh, Ember's a hero that up in on on one of my alt accounts up until I'd hit level 80 was actually extremely good. Um, if you load her up on tons and tons and tons of attack, uh, especially below I would say level 75. She has tons of attack, and you throw on a team with a bunch of play. She will like wipe teams on her own. Uh, she definitely has a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, damage potential. Um, just not very used right now, so I'm going to put her in C because she doesn't really make up a lot of the meta right now. But it's definitely more useful than these DNF heroes. Emily. Emily has never really fallen out of meta. She's always been pretty solid. Uh, she used to be a lot better when she was completely invulnerable to everything, but still a pretty decent hero. Um, not really used at all right now, but not a bad hero, so I'm going to put her in C. Uh, Zulk is a phenomenal, phenomenal hero. Zulk is definitely one of the most used heroes right now. I'd say in the top 5% of used heroes right now. Um, extremely, extremely good. Uh, his only downfall is that he's not good at all on defense. He's completely useless on defense, but he makes like one of the best offensive heroes um, it's hard for me to decide if I should put him in S or A only because the Arya, for example, is extremely good on attack but also extremely good on defense. Um, I'd say that a lot of defensive teams would be a lot harder to beat if Zulk didn't exist. So I'm going to put him at a soft S, but I'm going to go on record saying that I think he's kind of between an S and an A, um, but definitely a very, very good hero. Inferno's not bad. I've seen some people using them that have gotten creative to beat some of this, these new defense teams, um, but I can't put him a lot higher than a C uh, currently. Hopefully he starts to get more back into rotation because he's definitely not bad and he definitely his uh, wildfire is definitely usable, um, but I just can't put him above a C right now. Theron is a phenomenal hero. Theron has, has exceeded all expectations, used to be completely forgettable, and is now a very, very solid hero. Um, especially paired up with Valken, especially paired up with Rayla, super, super good, uh, but not really um, good like on his own, has to have, he's not a playmaker, he's just really good on certain plays, if that makes sense, so I'm going to put him in B rank right now, uh, but if you have him paired up with the right heroes, is extremely, extremely good. Krex is going to go over here into D rank, not really a whole lot to say about him, he's pretty tanky, um, helps out his reptile team, but the reptiles are super kind of bad right now, so definitely not can't put him any higher than that Gortusk very good hero very underused I'm gonna put him in C rank because um, I have seen some people that wanted to use him and made him successful I think a lot of just pe people just don't really want to use him because he doesn't really uh, have a lot of purpose right now so a lot of people are just not bothering with him but he's definitely not bad and definitely could be used if people um, wanted to spend some time and make him work uh, Grog I'm gonna put in D I can't quite put him in F because he's not horrible. Um, he's not like completely garbage, and I would say probably in um, in lower levels he might be decent on beast teams. Uh, beast teams I think would probably still be viable at lower lower levels, below level seventy I'd say. Uh, but I can't put him much higher than D. And now a word from our sponsors. Imagine a world where you can reverse the effects of age, stress, and sun. From the leading name biotechnology comes Regenerate. Another breakthrough from the Umbrella Corporation. Regenerate's revolutionary T-cell formula actually brings dead cells back to life. Now, your youthful beauty can last forever. Always 
please consult your doctor before starting treatment. Some side effects may occur. Regenerate is a registered trademark of the Umbrella Corporation. Our business is life itself. Grondor is an amazing hero. Grondor's door is so super good right now. He defenses with him are make your life living hell. Uh, he does. He is pretty useless until five star. But I mean. I, don't, I think people are figuring out ways around him, but he's like extremely, extremely good. I'm going to say he's between an S and an A uh, at the moment just because of how much he's being used, which is definitely something I'm factoring into this is definitely the amount of usage that they're getting. Um, I'm going to put him up into S rank, um, but he's kind of like the opposite of Zulk where I'd say he's mostly usable on defense. He makes defense miserable uh, for the attacker. Uh, but I'd say that he's not like super, super great in uh, on offensive teams. Hagrim had his time to shine. Not anymore. He's pretty bad at this point. I'm going to put him in D rank. Um, not a whole lot to say about him. He's okay when he's on Valken. At lower levels, he's probably pretty awesome with Valken still. At higher levels, he's basically he's basically useless at this point. Um, Hansuke is okay. He's, he's, he had not super long ago probably about six or seven months ago had a very very strong um presence in the meta with his skin with long john suke where he couldn't be frozen uh him and lily were extremely good and i'd say probably at lower levels before they get into all of these new guys up here he's probably still halfway usable um, but not i can't put him much better than a d at the moment uh, hopefully he returns he could be definitely in b rank um, if he was being used more right now um, but you could theoretically justify putting him into C rank because he's not, again, he's not horrible. Um, but I'm going to... Mm, uh, if I put Bobble up here, I could probably put Hansuke. Hansuke with his skin can be C rank without it. It's complete F rank. So I'm going to just clarify that. Valken, I'm still going to put into into B. Valken still has a lot of use. Um, still is definitely extremely usable in boss invasions. Um, is halfway decent on defense. I would imagine unless you're going up against 6,000 room power uh, defenses, he's still halfway decent in offense. So uh, definitely not bad to star up. Uh, he didn't fall out of meta with the rest of his crew, with the rest of the dwarves. He's still very usable in a very, very wide array of things. And he's still extremely usable, like I mentioned, in boss invasion, which is like a very um, important guild element currently. Hopper had his time to shine, not so much anymore. I wouldn't bother focusing on him at all at the moment. There's not really a whole lot you can do with him. His one good redeeming quality was that he ate corpses, but now nobody really cares about that anymore. Um, he might be usable with, with Solaris, against Solaris, sorry, um, but hardly anybody's using Solaris on defense. Most of the people that are using Solaris are using it on offense, so putting him on defense doesn't really... You're, all you're doing is blocking against Solaris teams, which all they have to do is just not bring Solaris for that team. So I'm going to put him in F just because I don't want anybody working on on him at all right now. I could put him in D uh, if you're at lower levels facing a lot of Emily teams and Solaris teams. We'll put him in D just because of that. Ice Bloom's been getting a lot of usage. Um, I believe she's usable with Rayla. Uh, she got some usage for like a week or two recently. And then kind of like fell out again. I'm going to put her in C just because I've been seeing her used. Somebody's somebody's figuring out how to use her. It's just not necessarily me. Um, but I definitely wouldn't put her up with these guys right now. Ice Pick is F right now. Don't bother with him. They need to do something about him. Switch something up with him because he is completely useless at the moment. Ignis is beyond useless. If there was an F-, minus, I would put him in F-. minus. Don't bother with him. He's garbage. Um, Ego Rock at lower levels might be decent, so I'm going to put him in D, but I'd say he's definitely one of the worst uh, legendaries currently at the moment. Definitely, definitely one of the worst, He, which is kind of bad. It kind of sucks because he used to be the juggernaut back when I first started playing. He was like super, super good. It's crazy good. You wanted to have Ego Rock. Now he's just kind of an afterthought, but not really much more to say about him. Indigo used to be extremely good. Not so much anymore. I wouldn't recommend working on her, but I can't justify putting her as an F-tier hero. She does provide silence 
and uh, with crits, she can give you energy, so lower levels maybe. Definitely not a higher level, though. Iris is an extremely good hero. Definitely has her uses. I wouldn't say as good as these A and S heroes here, um, but definitely definitely a useful hero. Has been used a lot with Rayla currently. Um, I'd say in the current meta, she was good. Uh, one meta ago, she was actually pretty bad, I would say. Well, not one meta, but like um, I'd say uh, pre-Rayla, uh, she was pretty bad. Um, Pre-Grondor, pretty bad. Uh, but now has seen a resurgence, pretty decent. Um, I'd work on her if you can. Jabber, we all know. We all know where he's going. Even even with his epic, he's pretty bad. Jibber goes right next to him over here. They're just garbage. Hopefully, they get another rework. Jin is hard for me. Jin, I want to say, is S rank. And here would be my justification for saying he's S rank. Um, my justification for putting as S rank is because Jin is one of the few heroes that's actually still usable below five stars so even if he's not fully ascended you could use him at three stars and he'd still be pretty solid um his first attack uh, provides shield piercing which can help against a lot of very a wide array of different defenses um he still provides silence even when he's not fully ascended um he's just overall like a really good hero um he's extremely vital typically in boss invasions uh, almost every boss invasion i've ever played he's been like a main component um at six stars, he's extremely good. And then with his epic, he's like really, really, really good. Um, right now is still one of the most by far used heroes on offense and defense. So I'm gonna stick by my S. Uh, a lot of people might give me some flack for that, but I I'm gonna stick by that, that rating. Julius, I barely even remember who he is. Completely unusable at the moment. Do not bother with him. Used to be a VIP portal hero, has completely fallen from grace and is now in f tier uh jimbo is pretty decent uh jimbo uh, the my the hard part for me with jimbo is that he's okay he's not great he's not horrible but to get him six star was a massive pain in the ass and a lot of people spent a lot of money to get him and he just didn't really end up panning out to be that great he's extremely tanky works really really well with lily but is just very lackluster kind of on his own um, but not complete garbage, so I'm going to put him in C rank. Kai is decent. Kai has gone back and forth on metas. He was good when he first came out, then he became kind of crappy, then he became good again. Right now, he's still usable. I'd say he's still, like, halfway usable, but um, not necessarily somebody I'd focus on, per se, but definitely usable, and I'd say probably very usable at lower ranks um, versus a lot of these AoE heroes that are out. Um and uh, surprisingly can do quite a bit of damage if you load some attack on him so again not horrible um i'd put him in c rank probably uh it'd be a debate between c and d rank but i don't think he's quite as bad as the heroes that i have down here in d rank cobal is garbage unfortunately he had his time to shine when his epic came out but then once more epics came out it kind of put him to the to the wayside he was okay in pve his epic attack clears the room but I'd say a lot better heroes now still clear rooms uh, with their epic attacks such as Theron and, and so on. So definitely going to sit down at F rank. Koros is so sad because Koros came out and was completely dominant. You had to have Koros. If you didn't have Koros, you are going to get wrecked. He has a completely unique... He's the only hero that has three reds and two green slots. But currently just is not enough to to fight with any of these higher rank even these c heroes he can't really he, uh, he can't even compete with them really it's super sad because he could be super good and was super good but i'm gonna have to put him in d rank just at the moment he just doesn't fit into any attack team any meta any defense team he's just completely kind of uh, unusable but he's definitely better than these f tier heroes um, in every in every way Kozar is going to join uh, Koros over here in the in the D rank. Just not really a whole lot to say with him. Uh, he had his time to shine with Zen, but that time is way, way past. Even paired up with Jimbo is pretty useless. Um, so for now, he's going to sit there. Leo. Uh, fortunately, Leo has uh, very recently come back into favor and is very usable again. Uh, he, he's been... He's been a very integral way of beating a lot of the meta defenses. Uh, I wouldn't say he's usable hardly at all on 
on on defense but on offense he's extremely strong right now on defeating those meta defenses maybe in lower levels he's still extremely strong on defense but regardless just the amount that he's been being used in the current attack meta i'd say either puts him in a or b rank um, i think if i put him in a rank i might make a lot of people mad so i'm going to currently put him um, in b rank i don't know honestly he's he might be an a rank hero and a lot of these now that i'm looking at it a lot of these a's and b's are probably pretty interchangeable um, I don't really have a lot of uh, a lot of A rank right now, so I might like redo it. But I'd say I'm gonna put him in A for now, only because the the heroes that I have over in B rank are good and usable, but aren't really necessary. Whereas I feel like right now uh, Leo, uh, Archon, I think are kind of like necessary for certain for certain defenses. Um, like Leo's, I think is very very necessary to beat some of the the most meta defenses currently. Um, that said, I guess in that regard, um, you could you could argue that Agnon is not necessarily you know mandatory, but I just I, I think he's he's has a lot more usage in a lot more different places than than some of the guys that are lower than him. But definitely debatable between A and B here, and uh, I would really like to hear what you guys think about all this. But we'll get to that disclaimer at the end. Uh, Lily. Lily is decent without her skin, definitely in lower levels I imagine you probably don't have the skin, but at higher levels with Oak skin is a phenomenal, phenomenal hero. Oak skin has, since it came out, became a dominating force and has never really left the meta, has always stayed in the meta. There has been stuff that has been better than her um, and worse than her, but definitely she has kind of kept her place. I'd say Oak skin Lily is definitely an A rank. Uh, uh, currently at the moment hero lupina unfortunately does not have any purpose at the moment i'm gonna put her in f not really a whole lot to talk about with her just she had a time to shine for a little bit but now as that time is gone malice is very 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 necessary right now and very usable i wouldn't say quite s rank because i do think that her time might pass soon but at the moment is completely dominating, completely dominating boss invasion. She's in completely uh, dominating in PvP. In PvP, not really on defense, but against defense. So definitely on offense. She's super, super strong, paired up with Zulk. Uh, Zulk doesn't necessarily need her, but she definitely needs Zulk. Uh, Zulk does become fast when she's on his team. So he does, in a, in a manner of way, um, in a manner of speaking, need her. But he's definitely a lot better on his own than she is on her own in my opinion uh this guy is f uh i don't even what even is this guy's name oh my goodness i can't even remember his name right now uh yeah he's f rank he's a monster hero doesn't even synergize with beasts because he's a monster hero and basically uh, uh, Manglejaw. Manglejaw is his name. He's just completely unusable. It's, he's one of the OG heroes, but just not really much to say about him. Don't bother with him. Manglejaw is... Or not Manglejaw. Um, oh my god. Um, anyways, this guy is... Uh, I literally am completely blanking on his name. Um... Marrow, Jesus. Uh, okay, so Marrow's decent. Um, Marrow has its place in boss invasions occasionally. Uh, is not horrible, I would say, on my alt that I have that's around level 70. Um, is actually pretty usable in PvP. Um, you definitely have to use her the, uh, him the right way. Uh, it's, he's used for paralyzing um, and stuff like that. So definitely has his uses, but definitely not in higher level. Um, I'd say he's not really used hardly at all anymore. Masuda Kira sad sad story not usable hardly at all anymore i have a hard time putting an f but he's pretty much an f rank hero at the moment i hope that changes soon but i don't know miko's okay miko's not bad the problem with miko is that i don't think we've seen enough fleshed out from him yet uh not enough people have a usable one yet uh mine's five star so I haven't really even dived into using him, but I do know that some people have had trouble with him on defense. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna put him in C for now. I do think he could be higher once we know a little bit more about him and once the meta around him has fleshed out and developed a little bit, a little bit more. 
Um, yeah, this arrow is going to go straight over to F rank. Uh, not usable at all right now. Nimriel. Um, nitpick, F rank, don't even bother. Not usable at all. Even with his demon friends, not usable. I guess, I don't know, I haven't tried. Maybe in lower level PvP, you could add him with Zulk and Malice and he might be okay. But I wouldn't say any higher than level 60 would he even be on anybody's radar. Nub Nub, Nub is completely unusable. I'm going to put him in F rank. Uh, whatever uh, this guy's name even is anymore. I I'm forgetting his name is completely unusable right now. Um, along with most of the zombies, unfortunately. Undead, whatever you want to call them. Uh, very much not usable. Femus is an F rank. Not usable at all. Don't touch him. Uh, the gelatinous cube is not usable at all anymore. Beast pig is not usable at all anymore. Pontifex, super, super good. Very usable, um, but only if you have his epic maxed. Uh, for the most part, I'd say most people aren't using him, but he's he's very good mixed with like Rayla and stuff. So I'm going to put him in B rank. He's He's done extremely well recently. And a lot of people have been using him in tandem with Rayla. And definitely that people have been using him during uh, boss invasions. And uh, during that lunar event, he was very, very useful. So I'm going to put him in B just because I think at the moment he's uh, he's seeing a lot more. If I could see internal dungeon boss statistics, I'd say he's probably seeing a lot more usage than anybody in the C and D rank. Uh, like probably by far. And I'd say he's probably on par with everybody in this B rank. And probably more used right now than Kra and Deadeye even. Rayla at the moment is definitely an S rank hero. Offense, defense, boss invasion, any type, any which way that you look at it, she's extremely, extremely powerful. Um, very, very much worth starring up and very, very, very much worth getting her epic. Super, super good. Not unbeatable, but definitely when you see a Rayla on the defense, you definitely like. There are defenses where I just go in based on what I look at. With her, I have to check the runes. I have to see how everybody's built to make sure that I can beat that team. Rocky is pretty unusable at the moment. Um, some people might want to fight me, but I'm going to put him in F for that. Rogar is completely un uh, unusable. Don't touch him. Don't waste your time. F. Selwyn. I'm going to put in D. We're running out of space over in F anyway. But I'm going to put him in D only because... I'd say in lower level or lower league PvP, he might still be usable only because he's one of the few, well, he's one of only two, him and Lily, that can be in his like ice form or her oak form, for example, but still have a taunt rune. So he can have taunts on him, but be basically invulnerable, which might trip up people at lower levels and lower leagues, but definitely not in high league anymore. He might see a return. I could see him being okay again. If they can just figure out his stats, his stats just aren't good enough. Uh, he's supposed to be a glass cannon. Like, give him some super high attack or something. Make him actually usable. But Shade has stood the test of time. I think Shade will always stand the test of time. Currently, Shade is very, very usable um, on offense, but not very usable on defense. Shade is going to be between a B and a C. I'd say Shade would be a B-. minus. Um, not as good as the other B heroes that are listed here, but... I would say definitely better than the C, any of those C heroes, and definitely still seeing some play versus certain defenses. Uh, people have been getting crafty with him. Um, he just, like, not too long ago was still an A rank hero, uh, but with Rayla and stuff, he's just really not that usable anymore at the moment. Um, he was very usable taking out some, uh, some Aria teams, uh, Aria defense teams and stuff, but just at the moment, just not that great. Shadow Blade, unfortunately, goes into F. Shadow Blade is garbage. Not much else to say about him. Um, uh, I'm blanking on her name again, but uh, God, what even, what even is her name? Um, not Astrid. Uh, but anyway, so. Uh, is it Astrid? I don't remember. Anyways, not that great. Not the worst hero on Earth, but definitely not good. I don't want to... I think she's a lot better than any of those F-rank heroes by far. Um, and can be usable 
with, I guess, with like Furnace, uh, but definitely not past level 70. She's kind of, uh, she's kind of on the wayside at the moment. Sifu has been useful in boss invasions. I can see him being useful again in boss invasions. Not the worst hero in the world, but definitely not going to be used seriously anytime soon. Solaris, very, very good at the moment. Very good with Leo in tandem. A lot of people are using her on offense. Nobody's really using her on defense, but I could see her and Leo being super annoying on defense at lower levels and lower leagues. Um, she was really, really good for a while, then completely unused, and now very much being used again. I use her a lot. I'd say I use her in probably about 90% of, or I'd say, okay, let's say probably about 60 or 70% of my raids uh, because of her effectiveness versus Rayla teams. So definitely going to put her in A tier right now. She's seeing a lot more use than any of these other B tier right now. Uh, that might change soon, but at the moment, she's phenomenal. Um, Red Goblin is garbage. Don't use him at all. Um, surprisingly, okay, so this is going to be probably a point of contention, but Stone Fist has, uh, I've seen a couple people, um, mainly my, uh, a friend of mine named Jimon, um, uh, who's used him halfway decent. Um, once he has his epic, his, for whatever reason, his basic attack counts as a ranged attack. So if you used him with Rayla, uh, his, he follows up her command, uh, passive ability and, Basically, that first fist that he does, uh, it lowers attack and defense. Like, it's actually pretty decent, and he's pretty tanky. Um, so I'd say when I first started playing, he's completely garbage. He hasn't been good for a very long time. But I think a lot of people slept on his update and how good his special is now. So if you haven't looked at him recently, I'd say look at him again, because I think he's definitely a sleeper right now that I think people are going to catch on to soon. Takumi's an F-tier uh, F hero, even with Honor Bound, he's complete trash. I, I don't know what else to say. I really hope they fix him soon, but at the moment, he's completely unusable. Furnace is being used a lot. Furnace, is, uh, especially with his epic, has seen a lot of play. He's used, being used on a lot of defenses. Not quite as much on offense, but definitely on defense has seen a lot of play. Um, in PvE events, guild events, he's halfway decent. Not like amazing, amazing. Uh, but he's not horrible. I'd say he's seeing a lot more play than any of those Cs. And definitely is a, a lot better of a hero at the moment in his current build. Uh, with the current runes that are available to us. Not anywhere near as good as any of the A or S heroes that I have listed up there. And I'd say he's probably another one that's going to be in B- territory. Uh, but definitely just because of how much people are still using him on defense. I'm going to put him in B territory there. Uh, our little fire bat. Not used at all. Garbage. Tsume, garbage, not used, don't touch him at all. Viperia, ugh. I want to put Viperia in F, but I do think she's better than any of those F heroes that are down there. I'll put her in D, but she's definitely in a D minus range. Um, even with the other reptiles right now, just you're not going to see her used really at all. Um, this guy is still F. He had a rework, it didn't work. He's done. Um, hopefully. They can fix him, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. He's not really on their radar right now. Willow is completely unusable at the moment. Um, let's just go through our unusables. Yo uh, Yoko is completely unusable. Yasmin is completely unusable. Even with Yasmin's epic, um, I get... Okay, so out of the Fs, I could, I could see her being in a D range. She has a passive that gives other water heroes, like, uh, I think it's more health or more defense, so I guess that's usable. Her epic isn't terrible if it goes off, provides healing, clears debuffs. <clears throat> she kind of sucks as a healer, um, but she, you could argue that she's better than any of these F rank heroes that are down here currently. Um, Purple Jin is actually very, very good at the moment. I'm going to put him in A rank. That could be a point of contention. Um, I'd say he's really difficult to deal with on defense right now. But I personally don't believe that his abilities and his attacks are really all that great. I think his passive is alright. And I think he works really well in conjunction with some other heroes. Uh, but I do think that those S ranks that I have there are better than him. Uh, that's subjective. And it might just be because I haven't used him as much. Uh, I hope most people agree with me and where I put him. But... Again, this a lot of this is uh, subjective. Yorick, 
oh Yorick has my favorite skin in the game um, Warlord Yorick but is not usable at all don't bother with him don't touch him at all Zom has his place for the tower Zom has his place for PvE I highly recommend him if you're still leveling up and still trying to beat uh, PvE or if you're still having trouble with the tower definitely usable but as far as legendary goes one of the worst legendaries I'd say probably like the fourth or fifth worst one um, but definitely helps a lot in a lot more stuff than than anybody in that F tier and he'd probably be in D plus you could argue for him in C maybe um, but definitely not in competitive PvP um, I'd say more so on the PvE side Zen is okay Zen's not horrible you could argue for Zen for C if you have five festives five festive Zen is still pretty decent uh, as long as you're not in completely top tier PvP but aside from that uh, I don't know even if you're in lower tier PvP lower levels of, or lower leagues you still need to pretty much have him at five uh, five festives. Now, somebody in my guild in uh, in um, Umbrella Corporation has been using him, but that's only one person that I've seen really using him. And I think he more so just kind of like found a way to make him work. Um, you could argue for him in C rank. In fact, I might still put him in C just because, because um, I do think he's a lot more usable than any of the rest of the D heroes right now. Uh, but I wouldn't put him any higher than C for sure. Be like C minus maybe. Zola, I'm gonna put in C. Um, she's still she's pretty halfway decent uh, not a horrible hero at all uh, actually usable with Rayla as well um, but not it's just not that great she's fast so that helps her her first ability is very strong her other abilities are pretty lackluster uh, she did help a lot recently in a boss invasion not terrible but definitely not I don't think gonna make it very much higher than C anytime soon and poor Zerk is gonna go and join the rest of these fellas in F Zerk had a time to shine. That time is way, 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 way past. But anyways, again, I hope you guys realize that all this is, is just my opinion. Uh, you guys might have a different opinion. And to that point, I would really, really appreciate if you guys left a comment. Let me know what you thought about my list. Let me know any changes that you guys would make. Um, I'm going to put a link to um, kind of like an image of this if you want to save the image and uh, pass it around. Make any changes. You can send them to me online. I have my line ID over that way I think on the on the recording um, I want to start making more videos again um, I'm starting to have a little bit more time from work and from my personal life uh, I'm trying to revamp my whole recording um, situation here as you can see it's not like as good as it has been in the past but I'm definitely working on it so bear with me here I'm getting a lot more equipment a, a lot more um, a lot of, a lot of new equipment um, and I'm going to start streaming again. Some of you guys might have seen my stream I did the other night. I did a lot of PvP. I was ruining all my heroes. So definitely make sure to go check out my Twitch uh, and definitely subscribe and like uh, this video if you want to see more content. And ho who knows, if, if this gets popular again, maybe I'll start doing a lot more of these. I would like to do one of these that I live stream. So one of these tier lists where you guys help me out with making it and that way I can see a lot more other people's uh, of other people's perspectives. Uh, but for now, let me know what you think. Uh, I'll make one of the another one of these soon and I will talk to you guys soon.